Hello comic book guys and gals, and welcome to Comic Mag Musings. This handsome fellow is your host, Bill Miller. All right, we have an exciting unboxing for you today. Don't know where this is from, don't know what's in it. I probably had it for maybe two, three, four months. Um, so it's high time we cracked in with our box cutter made for right-handers and figured out the contents therein. So let's see what we're working with. This is from my comic shop. Not my comic shop. Not even your comic shop. Our comic shop. All right, so let's see what we have. We've got some slabs. So we might have a couple of different videos in the interest of time. Goodness gracious. We've got some RARs, as they say, across the pond. Some more. Some more. <laughs> All right. Feels like paper on the bottom. Okay, well, there's one more. And yes, paper. All right, so goodness gracious. We'll probably do this in maybe a series of, hey, I don't know, maybe a series of four. Um, all right, so let's do, we'll do this one first. How about that? out of this plastic. I'll try to do it in such a way so as I don't see what it is and you rascals and rascalettes get to see it before I do. So I see writing and stuff but I'm not paying it no never mind. That way it's a surprise to me and you get to see it first. All right. So <laughs> Let's move this stuff. Here we have our first one. Boom. Oh boy! It's Savage Sword of Conan. And this is issue number seven. And it's in, as they say, as them Britishers say, it's in pretty darn good nick. Pretty fantastic. This is a Boris Vallejo cover. And just from the front, not looking at the back, that's easily 8.5, 9.0. So very excited about that. All right, next one. Boom. Oh boy, look at that. I was wondering, are they all Savage Sword? No, 
<laughs> this is Rugged Men. Um, volume 2, number 3. It says, The Prostitute Who Saved Puerto Rico. Massacre at Wahoo Swamp. Sex and the Leopard God. The Amazing True Story of India's Leaf People. I'd love to know who did the art, but that is fantastic. Volume 2, number 3 of Comic Mag Musings, a.k.a. Rugged Man. All right, next. Boom. Oh, boy. Another issue of Rugged Man. This one is volume one, number six. It says, Ten Cents a Date, the story of a dance hall prostitute. That's always, the prostitute seems to be the top level text on each one of them. The incredible saga of the Confederacy's greatest gamble, the gallant gorillas. I'll take the Texas Roper and an amazing story of horror, the shark vomited a murder. I hate it when you're at the beach and you get shark vomited murder all over your feet. And it's in really nice condition as well. Easily a 7.0, maybe even 7.5. So very nice. All right, next. Here we go. Boom. Oh boy, we've got another Rugged Men. This one is volume two, number four. Exposed, sin, swindle, and blackmail. Spawned by the Kinsey Report. The racket and bony sex research. Fire Ants Ate Me Alive. A Vice Investigator's Report, The Harlots Wanted My Blood. And Weird True, The Man Who Really Was Dracula. Just a fantastic painted cover. Great, great artwork on these. I don't suspect I'll be reading them, but wonderful artwork on the covers. And we have Rugged Men, Volume 1, Number 4. For those Western fans of you. Oh, uh, it's covering up part of it. The Untold Truth About the Mafia. White Headhunter of the South. Pacific. And this one signed Prezio. Can't remember the first name, but I know that he was a prolific uh, pulp and comic book artist. Vic. I think it's Vic Prezio, isn't it? I think so. So that's fantastic. Another Rugged Men Volume 1, number 5. Again, for the Western aficionados among us. It's an incredible action scene, right? The Black Death, The Fantastic Story of the Plague, A Salute to the Red Men Who Fought Back, The Tribe They Conquered, The Clan. I Jumped Off the Mountain and Lived, A Most Amazing Story of Heroism with Pictures. And these are Stanley publications. Stanley, of course, did some horror comic magazines as well, which generally reproduced um, pre-code horror stories. 
from the 50s, but these in the 60s and 70s. And we have Real Men, volume four, number one. Generally, Stanley Morse, right? Those. It's another great Western shot. And good girl art all at the same time. The she devil who directs Soviet sin and sabotage. Bonus novel, Fremont, Trailblazer of the American Frontier. And sex clubs are my business. And business is good. All right. And we've got one more. Here it is. Haven't seen it. Haven't seen any of these. You got to see them first. Boom. Oh boy. We've got another real man. Wonder why it's in the different package. This is volume six, number seven. One day, or the hundred Moro maidens of Private Billy Bones. The saga of a GI patrol trapped in the Battle of the Bulge, five against the Wehrmacht. Special for the outdoor man, how to field dress a deer. The inside story of a $14 billion industry sex America's biggest business. And a million dollars lay in my grasp until a woman's flesh led me into hell. The black pearls of a rule. Just another fantastic painted cover. And I'm guessing that's some sort of date code that someone wrote on that. All right, that will do it. We'll stop there for the first part of our unboxing. I hope you enjoyed seeing those, and if you did, I would encourage you to subscribe and hit that notification bell. That way you're alerted as soon as I release new content. Thumbs up and comments are always appreciated. Remember, let's see, let's see, let's see. Mm. Yeah, why not? We're taking over the world one comic book at a time.